DJ Boss player with WMEC at the University of Maryland. I'm out here at Broccoli City Festival with the lovely Abir. She just killed it on stage over there. So when did singing start for you? When did that become your dream? You know, it started when I was age six. I started doing like talent shows um, in the neighborhood. And that's really when I first started realizing that I loved singing. Broccoli City was amazing. And if you weren't here, you should have been here. Remember back in the days when you used to rock waves and shit? But I'm here with the real boss right now. The boss of Broccoli City Festival right, man. The man Scooty, man. How does it feel, man? The event is going great, man. How does it feel, man? I mean, it's awesome. You know, this is my third year hosting. Um, my entire team, my Rock Creek Social Club team, is running this entire stage area. So, I mean, I feel really good. Um, about the lineup and I feel good about my team actually having a chance to run a stage and of course you know what I'm saying my third year up there I feel like it's home for me. This is just regular. What's poppin'? She just got finished ripping the stage at Broccoli City Festival. Um, you're a very natural performer. It was a very great performance. When did it first hit you? You know, I want to be a stage performer. I don't know. I think I kind of grew into stage for me. Um, I think I just kind of got better as I as I got older. Um, I knew I always wanted to be an artist, probably probably from the age of like maybe 14. But um, I was in show choir in high school. So um, I did all that stage performance and like tap dancing and jazz dancing and like contemporary and ballroom dancing. I did all that in high school in show choir. So it's pretty dorky, but it was like one of my favorite parts of high school. So I'm used to performing. So, you know, I kind of, it's just kind of something that I just got better at and I can still get better at. So I'm working on that. lovely Risa Renee. We've been following you for a very long time. Way back to Wonderland, cool. We, we appreciate the growth, man. How you feeling right now? I feel, I'm a little cold, but you yeah, know what I'm saying? Cool. I decided like to be cute was more important. I, I don't want to put on a jacket, you know what I'm saying? So I got like a mind over matter thing going right now. So I feel pretty good, baby. Okay, Broadway City, man, what are you expecting? What are you looking forward to? I mean, it's always a good environment. Uh, it's always good to see all these people coming out, you know what I'm saying, and supporting in DC and when they had first done it last year, well, I don't know if that was their first year or not, but either way, when I was a part of it, I was so excited then. So, I mean, it's the same thing. I'm with the homie Light Show right now, Southside Representer. First question, first and foremost, obviously, how does it feel to be at this huge festival in Southside DC where you're from? How does that feel, man? Man, it's an honor and a privilege, you know what I'm saying? Because I was here last year just watching. And for me to be here now, uh, part of the, the uh, headliners, man, it feel great, man. Right? It's, it's what I always wanted, man. I went to school on this street. I got my hair cut on the street called The Bus, so it mean a lot to me. I'm here with the Environmental Protection Agency Administrator, Gina McCarthy, right now. Yeah. We're so honored to be speaking with you. My first question, of course, is what do you think this event really means to the city of Washington, D.C. right now? Oh, it's a big deal. It means that everybody's getting together to demand clean air, clean water, and a safe planet, and that we all have to work at it. But this president cares about these issues. He's driving action on climate change. EPA is going to deliver it because that's our job. Kiss my lips, I get my fix, and hell my fire blow me out. 